And I don't know where you've been, but you're gonna respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Laura Gonzalez is suing Beatrice Manfred in the amount of $500. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. Ms. Gonzalez claims she attended a comedy show with her boyfriend's mother and says the defendant's obnoxious heckling got them both kicked out. State your name? Laura Gonzalez. Ma'am? Beatrice Manfred. All right. And ma'am, you are suing Miss Manfred for $500, alleging she owes you this money for um, having, causing the two of you to be kicked out of an event? Is yes, that sir. correct? Yes, sir. All right, start with you. Give me some background. How do you all know each other? So she is the mother of my ex-boyfriend, my now ex-boyfriend. Okay. And um, I invited her to a comedy show. How long have you and him been broken up? Um, we've been broken up for about four months now. How long did you go together? Two years. Oh, you were married too, right? Didn't no, you say we, were ex? Just, we were just dating. Okay. My ex-boyfriend, yes. Dated for two years, mm -hmm. broke up four months ago. Okay, I guess it's... Still reasonable to hang out with mom. I'm just wondering no. how long that, that No, no, no. We would, this happened. Last. Sorry, this happened when we were still dating. Oh. Okay. So I invited her to a comedy show while I was still dating her son. Got it. Yeah, we have since broken up. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't clear. And you just that was during that time. Mm -hmm. And what happened there? So what comedians were there? Do you remember? Um, Chelsea West, my, one of my favorite comedians, was headlining yeah. the show, actually. I didn't get to see her, unfortunately. We got kicked out before we got the chance, so. Uh, you give me some information on your relationship with uh, your son's ex. You all always been good, friends? Tell me, give me some background. I wouldn't say it. that, sir. Uh, I would say that we've never really gotten along very well. Um, I feel like her energy was off from the beginning of the relationship, and that's okay because the feeling was somewhat mutual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you say her energy was off, you got the impression she wasn't very um, friendly towards you or wasn't Correct. engaging and didn't I, have I an interest friendly. in being that way? I would say not at the respect level that I deserve. I oh, wasn't friendly no. towards you. I, w I was the one that wasn't friendly. Correct. Out of both of us. Okay. Correct. No, you're no, on. There was a lack of respect. There you yeah. go. Now you're on to something. Give me some examples of that. Um, well, there were times that my son, Jason, and uh, Laura would go out and she wouldn't be dressed in the most appropriate manner. I would prefer someone to dress a little more ladylike when they're out with my <laughs> son. Tell the woman. How old are you, ma'am? I am 28. 28? Yes, sir. You can't tell a 28-year-old how to dress. Go ahead. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. I can't. But I can certainly suggest that the breasts and the bottom no, and the legs. You can't suggest nothing. Well, well but it's go my ahead. son, sir. I know it's mamas son. want to. I want to with my own daughters. Yes. But I have to bite my lips. I can't say a word. Well, that I didn't do, you sir. You didn't do? What that did I you didn't do? do? Well, I just... I, I'm a vocal woman, and I would prefer a little more respectful appearance. That's all. What did all. you say to who? Uh, you should have said it to your son, if anybody, but that, what did you that, say? That, I've said that to him as well. Um, but I just told her that I would like for her to dress in a little more respectful manner. Um, but it's not just her dress. It's her mannerisms. It's the way she comes across. It's kind of everything. Sitting on my son's lap when we're having a conversation. What's that's wrong not appropriate. With that? In my home? Oh no yeah, no! Yeah, then oh, his no. girlfriend oh, no. can't sit on. Oh no no! His they can lap? do that. They can do that outside of being around me. I'm the mother. There's a certain level Not of respect. Not like a lap dance. No, I can no. understand God that. Forbid. I don't want you giving no lap dance no. to my son on my couch while I'm there. No sir, God but forbid. But maybe sitting on the side of his leg, just one leg sitting on the side of. That's that's not the way I was brought up, sir. And I would expect more. 
Well, I'm not going to go there <laughs> about when you were brought up. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> okay. But just know that the model, we're dinosaurs uh, in relation to today's young people. I feel like I'm a mirror, sir, and I mirror what I get. So what I was, the energy I was getting was the energy I was mirroring You back. gave the energy first. You gave mm. bad energy. I were never... you the first one to say something like that about your expectation of her? Probably, Then yes. your energy went down then. And I never commented on the way you dressed. Nor should you. <laughs> I'm your you elder. Shouldn't, Nor you should shouldn't you. judge me for anything either. Obviously, your son didn't have a problem with it. That may be true. You raised that, him. That may be true. That may be true. Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. I would say she's um, the main reason we broke up. You know, he, he was a very, very nice guy. He was That's great to me. That's not finish. But she is the one and only reason why we broke up. And later. I didn't ask this specific time because she was in the shower at the time. Okay. We used each other's car. I didn't think it would be a problem. Mm -hmm. um, and she didn't have a register. She may have told you no that time. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Laura Gonzalez, who is suing Beatrice Manfred for five hundred dollars. Uh, what'd your son say to you? Uh, we know uh, what she my, said. She my told son you all oh, but go to hell. But what did your son say? My son has always been extremely respectful with me and very supportive. Um, so he agreed that that wasn't maybe the best. Uh, attire that she could have worn and maybe not the best behavior in my home and he's always apologetic and always heartfelt He's a great boy. No, oh, he's always catering to you and you're really broken up about this I see yeah, I would say she's um, the main reason we broke up. You know, he, he was a very very nice guy He was That's great to heard. me um, finish. But she is the one and only reason why we broke up I took her to that comedy show, and she made a fool of herself. She got oh. belligerently drunk. I had spent $500 for both of us to go to this comedy show. By and choice. she absolutely, she got us kicked out. And she wasted my time, and she made a fool of herself and myself, How like so? I said. What happened? Um, she was heckling the comedians that were putting on a show for us. This was a charity event, mind you. Um, and. Yeah, she just made, she was making very inappropriate comments the whole night, screaming. That happens at all comedy yeah, shows. Yeah, I know, you. and there were other people, but, uh, sir, the list on the rules of the event, they said no, no interaction with the comedians, no heckling, and she was being flat they out rude. wrote that out? Yes, sir, I have, have the... have today? Yeah, yeah. Let's see that, please. I was not the okay. only person heckling. You were the only person making rude comments. No one else was that's, making that's, disrespectful that's subjective comments. That's at a comedy that's show, ma'am. Rude comments at a comedy show are subjective. There's no objective uh, analysis of whether a comment by a comedian or the crowd is rude. You have comedians, particularly African-American comedians, uh, that 90% of them use the N-word every other sentence when they're on stage. And so if that were the case, all African-Americans and white folks who are offended by hearing that will get up and walk out. Let's see. Hello. Welcome to the Comedy Charity Company. We look forward to having some laughs. Interaction with the comedian. No heckling. That's subjective. And because interaction with the comedian is welcome. It got us kicked so out, So it's subjective. Sir. Whether it's heck, well, she didn't know. She's going by interaction. And it's subjective as to whether that interaction is Heckling, what is, other type of interaction? Judge, is, say, man, be quiet. What other type of interaction do you think they may have been talking about? Getting on stage told, and touching him, uh, uh, holding a hand, what? She told the comedian that No, I'm asking you, he, your interpretation, ma'am. You uh, handed me this contract. Yeah. Let's go over it. What so, my, let's, what, let, what type of interaction okay. with the comedian you believe would be welcome? Um, 
you know, like um, answering their, you know, or like, I don't know, like answering. Yeah, kind of like, don't know. Kind right. of, kind that's of like the point. It's subjective. Reacting to their jokes, like laughing super loud. I feel like that's interacting or kind of giving laughing their. Laughing is interacting with or, a comedian. Yeah, see, or you're confused. Yelling, or yelling things at the comedian. That's interaction, that, right. But there's a difference between interaction and heckling. Tell she told me. She Tell told me. the comedian that he sucked and to mm -hmm. get off stage. Uh -huh. That's not nice and that's not interacting. That's heckling. It is and interacting. And that's why we got. That's why that's we got kicked out. That's subjective, ma'am. When you talk I, back and shh, when you talk back and forth, like we're doing right now, mm -hmm. we're interacting. Now, when you're interacting on stage, you're talking back and forth. So it is very sub subjective. What is heckling and what is just plain interacting with the comedian? The security are the are the ones that kicked us out. Yeah, they, I wasn't and the they one. interpreted it wrong. They may they, have interpreted it they wrong. They heard everything she was saying, I understand sir. that. They may have interpreted it wrong. Did the comedian say, get her out of here? I don't recall. Did the recall. comedian complain? I don't recall. Right. There but you go. It's just a comedian. Right. It's just the security doesn't have a sense of humor. Securities don't have a sense of humor. Police don't have a sense of humor. Because they have to be stiff and their mindset is law enforcement. They don't have no mindset of joking. They ain't joking with nobody in that audience. You stand up there if you want to. All right, you stand up, they might all crash you because they think you're about to do something. You, oh, he's about to shoot the comedian, so let's go. And all he's trying to do is, is stand up and get some attention. And out loud, the security converges on them because they're anxious security. To, that's what I do. I do things to people. I grab people. I keep people under control. That's my mindset. But that comedian didn't say nothing. Sir. That comedian didn't say a word. And ma'am, tell me about getting, being kicked out. What happened? What was said that the um, security determined they wanted to kick you out for? Uh, you know, honestly, Judge, I'm not sure. I did heckle them. I did have comments. But so you did heckle? the whole the whole front row Hold did. on, ma'am. You okay. heckle? Well, I had... I. Went back and forth. There was conversation. Interacted. And I interacted with those comedians, correct? Right, because in a way that I felt, says no heckling. In a way that I felt was appropriate. Because Telling them they okay. suck? Yeah, absolutely. And to leave? Absolutely. If you need to go back to comedy school, now, go ahead and do that. I did, did tell them they sucked. Did the comedian respond? Uh, I don't recall, but it wasn't, if he, the if he did respond. comedian didn't respond to any of the things you were he, saying? He was mostly talking to the front row. The front row was also okay, having interaction. Okay, he didn't respond to the right. things you were saying. Right. We so were he did not interact with you. Right. And you admit to heckling him. We, Judgment for the plaintiff, $500. She admitted to heckling. She said the comedian did not respond to anything she said. So that means there was Judge. no interaction. Have a good day. That's my judgment. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $500. And I'm so happy I'm out of your life. <laughs> Thank you. Ultimately, I was the winner because you're no longer a part of my son's life, so Same. I'll gladly pay the money. Same. Coming up. What were the tickets for? Uh, for, a, for the headlight and as well as a expired registration on her car. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Reese Jefferson is suing Matt Jefferson in the amount of $415. Ms. Jefferson claims her brother borrowed her car without asking and says he's financially responsible for the two tickets he got while using it. State your name? Reese Jefferson. Sir? Matt Jefferson. All right, and ma'am, you're suing your brother for $415, alleging he owes you this money for Automobile tickets? Yes. Start with you. He took my car without permission and came back with two tickets and he's refusing to pay for it. You want to speak? Yes. Um, Your Honor, I'm not paying those tickets because I'm not liable for them. She had the damage done to her passenger headlight before me getting into the car and it's her What were the tickets for? Uh, for, a, for the headlight and as well as a expired registration on her car. And you ask her if she could, you, if you could use it, and she um, said, "Go ahead with the uh, bad uh, plates and the bad light." No, I didn't ask this specific time because she was in the shower at the time. Okay. We use each other's car. I didn't think it would be a problem. Mm -hmm. um, and she didn't have it registered. She may have told you no that time, ma'am. You give me some more uh, information on this. You were. 
you gave me one sentence and I can't give you a judgment based on one sentence. Yes, we do use each other's car here and there and it's always been with permission. And so this specific time, the permission would have been denied. Okay, why? Because like the tickets say, I did have an expired tag and I did have a headlight busted out. So the car was not to be driven or moved at all. And it was not touched. Okay, so you said you came out of the shower mm -hmm. and what happened? When I came out of the shower, he came back and that's when he told me that he took my car and that he came out of the store and there were two tickets available. Coming up. How did the tickets come about? You were in the store? Yes, I was in the store. I came outside. There was two tickets on her windshield. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Reese Jefferson, who is suing her brother, Matt Jefferson, for bad debt. Sir, you didn't ask permission? Uh, no, not this specific time, because she was in the shower, her door was locked, my phone was about to die. I had a very important business call I needed to attend to, so a I... A call? Yes. What did that have to do with the car? Because uh, my phone was about to die, so I needed a phone charger to charge my phone. Okay, so you can go and so sit was, in the car. No, I was going to go purchase a new charger down the street, about six minutes away, not too far. And when I come outside to the car, after I got the charger for my cell phone, it was two tickets Why there. couldn't you, what, oh, what time, how long would it be for your call, that your emergency call? Uh, probably like 15, 20 minutes. All right, so how long did it take you to get the charger? Uh, about five. All right, so the house was five minutes away? Yeah. Oh, you could have walked there. Well, yeah, I could have walked, but it was, you know, late at night. Didn't want to really Are you walk. scared at night where you live? Uh, not too far from here. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, Los Angeles, I'm sorry. What part of Los Angeles? Some parts of South Los Central. Angeles are more crime ridden than others. Well, South Central to be exact, like towards Crenshaw and Slauson. Crenshaw and Slauson? Mm -hmm. All right, so most of the time there's no crime there. Um, there is some time. Maybe a little higher proportion than others because there's a little more poverty. Yes. And crime comes from poverty. And what did happen for you to get the tickets? Uh, nothing happened for me to get the tickets. Okay, I... you weren't pulled over, sir? No. How did the tickets come about? You were in the store? Yes, I was in the store. I came outside. There was two tickets on her windshield. Okay. How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. The fact is, sir, if had you asked, she would have told you no, or she would have said, take your chance. My plates are expired. My light, you'll, you'll get a ticket if you stop for that. And so had you asked, but you took it without permission. So when a person takes something without permission, they are responsible for everything that comes thereafter. Had she given you permission, then you could have said, well, you gave me permission to drive it. And so since you gave me permission, you assumed the risk of what was going to happen. But she didn't give you the permission. So you took it without permission, and so you have to deal with the consequences of that. Anytime you take something without permission, you assume the risk for every single thing that might go wrong. All right, good luck to you both. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $415. Any worries for each other? No, she'll get her money when she gets it. Zelle, cash app, cash, mm -hmm. check. However I can get it to you. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.